From the previous video, we have learned that car A is initially ahead because it has a higher constant speed of 16 from the start of the race. While car B starting from rest, it has a constant acceleration then after that move at a higher constant speed compared to A. That means to say, at certain time, at a specific time, car B will overtake car A. And we have established that at time 8 seconds, this intersection point is not where the overtaking is taking place. It basically means that both car A and car B, they have the same speed. So exactly what time does B actually overtakes A? So we are going to find out. The first thing that we need to know is to check if the overtaking takes place somewhere between 8 to 10 seconds or is a time beyond 10 seconds. And we will make use of this point here. That means to say we are going to check at time equals to 10 seconds what is the distance traveled by car A and car B. Now let's take a look at the distance for car A. And if I were to highlight this for you, the distance for car A, that will be the area underneath the graph here, which is basically the rectangle here. So it's just 16 times 10, and car A travels a distance of 160 meters from the starting point. And how about distance traveled by car B? So it will be the area underneath the graph, which is this triangle. So that will be half times base, which is 10 times the height, 20, and that will basically be 100 meters from the starting point. So you can see that the, at time equals to 10 seconds, the distance traveled by car A is still greater than the distance traveled by car B. So all this while until 10 seconds, car A has been in front of B. So it has, the overtaking has not taken place yet. In other words, the overtaking must have taken place somewhere around here at the unknown time t. Now previously, we learned that for overtaking to take place, the distance traveled by car A must be equal to the distance traveled by car B. So let's take a look at the area and find what's the time for that. Now, let's look at the distance for car A. So that will be the distance all the way until time equals to t. So basically, that will be 16 times t is equals to, now we need to find the area under, graph, under the graph for the car B, and which is this triangle which we have found earlier. We'll tap on that, and now the additional rectangle here. So for car B, it will be 100 meters, which you found from here, plus the area of the rectangle which is 20 times the base which is t minus 10 because t is greater than 10. So we will simplify this 16t equals to 100 plus 20t minus 200 making t the subject. So you will find that t equals to 25 seconds. So that's when the overtaking takes place. And if you want to know what is the distance travel by both car when they overtake each other, you can either look at distance A or distance travel by car B. And obviously this is so much easier. So to find the distance and both of them, car A, car B will be the same. I can just take either one of them, 16 times T, and we know now that the time is 25 seconds. So you end up with a distance of 400 meters. So it means when car car A is initially ahead of car B. So slowly, because of the speed of the B is increasing until a point where B catches up and when they are side by side, the distance traveled from the starting point is 400 meters. So that's where the overtaking has taken place. 